Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Welcome to the most important car race this season. Look how many drivers there are. I'm so excited. I'll do my best to win this race. First, we're going to count how many cars will be participating in the race. Luckily, we know numbers, and they can be very helpful. Let's see how many cars there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right, there are ten cars. We used cardinal numbers to count the cars. Cardinal numbers indicate how many units there are in a group. The amount of cars that participate in the race is 10. This means that 10 is the number representing how many units there are in the group. We don't use numbers only to count. Many times we also use them to order things and define their position. For example, at the end of this race, we'll need to know who came in first or last. To do that, we will use ordinal numbers. This means that we use ordinal numbers to rank objects or indicate their position. The race is about to begin. Let's see how I do. Wish me luck. I won! This means I'm first! Way to go! But what about the rest? How did they do? Let's watch the replay. The red car, that's mine, came in first. The yellow car came in second. The green car came in third. The white car came in fourth. The black car came in fifth. The blue car came in sixth. The pink car came in seventh. The orange car came in eighth. The brown car came in ninth. And the purple car came in tenth. As we have seen, ordinal numbers are different from cardinal numbers. If ordinal numbers end in one, two, or three, we use the corresponding ST, ND, or RD, and it's written small like this. First, second, and third. All other ordinal numbers use TH, like fourth, for example. We have used ordinal numbers to define the position of each car in a race, but we can also use them to order, for example, the floors of a building. I live on the 10th floor of this building. Let's count the windows from the bottom to the top. This window would be the first floor. This window would be the second floor. This window would be the third floor. This window would be the fourth floor. This window would be the fifth floor. This window would be the sixth floor. This window would be the seventh floor. This window would be the eighth floor. This window would be the ninth floor. And this last one is the 10th floor. This is my window. I left my window open. Oh no. Now you know how to identify cardinal and ordinal numbers. You'll see how useful they can be. I'm going to celebrate my victory. See you soon. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. 
Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.